I would stop in here. Hi, everybody. We're here today with a live studio audience talking about vector decomposition. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Um, so vector decomposition is simply the process of taking a vector and breaking it down into an X and Y direction. So first of all, a vector is drawn like an arrow and uh, a vector encompasses a direction and a magnitude. So um, suppose you uh, uh, have a, uh, an airplane or a ship or uh, something else that's moving and you wanna, I'm just gonna draw it on a, on a axis like this. Here's east, here's north, west, south, and say this is 40 degrees right here, and uh, my ma magnitude is 10 miles per hour. This vector uh, incorporates the uh, idea that you're walking at 10 miles an hour, and you're 40 degrees north of east, okay? Uh, so you got a direction and a magnitude. Um, now, when you walk north of east like this, uh, what's happening is you are uh, walking a little bit north and also a little bit east. And vector decomposition is a process to figure out exactly how fast you're walking north and east separately. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to just quickly review vector addition. And we'll come back to uh, uh, come back to my problem. Vector addition looks like this. If you have vector A and vector B, you always add them head to tail. And then the resultant is always head to head and tail to tail. So this is head to head. This is tail to tail. This is vector A plus B. And, and uh, so with my vector up here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 10 miles per hour and we'll just redraw it right here. That's 10. I'm going to draw the x direction vector right here and my y direction vector right there. And uh, so, th and this is 40 degrees. So the idea is that um, if I walk at 10 miles an hour this way, uh, I'm, I have a certain x motion that is represented by this vector and then a certain y motion that's represented by this vector. And knowing that this angle is 40 degrees, you can easily use sine and cosine and tangent if you need to, uh, to figure out how long X and Y are. And the length in this case represents the velocity. Since this is 10 miles per hour, these uh, will also, X and Y will be uh, velocities also. Um, so we'll start with X. Uh, this is adjacent and that's tens of hypotenuse. So I know that uh, cosine 40 degrees is x over 10, adjacent over hypotenuse. And if you multiply by 10, x equals 10 cosine 40 degrees. And uh, so I'm in degree mode right here on my calculator. And we can just do 10 cosine 40 and get 7.6, uh, 7.7. 7. Just like that. And then uh, for the y, y is opposite and this is hypotenuse. So we're gonna use sine and we'll say uh, sine of 40 equals y over 10. And uh, to solve for y, you multiply by 10. So y is 10 sine 40. And on your calculator, you can just do 10 sine 40 and that's 6.4. And it's going to be 6.4. So as you walk this direction, thank you. As you walk this direction at 10 miles per hour, you're simultaneously walking in the X direction at 7.7 .7 miles per hour. And then the Y direction at 6.4 miles per hour. These are called the X and Y components of the vector. Hope this helped out. Uh, we'll see you next time.